Welcome to this brief video about the Micamold XTR1 transmitter. A number of radio amateurs who've heard this on the air have asked me for details, so I thought I'd make a brief uh, video about this uh, uncommon uh, transmitter. Uh, again, you're looking at the Micamold XTR1 transmitter. It was manufactured by the Micamold Radio Corporation at 1087 Flushing Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, it was marketed as a kit in 1948. It originally sold for $34 uh, without the uh, tubes, uh, crystal, or key, or any other accessories. And it was intended uh, likely as an entry-level transmitter for uh, the new radio amateur. And uh, it's uh, really a, a rather nice and interesting little uh, product. Uh, some nice features uh, uh, incorporated into the Michael Mold XTR1, of course, is band switching for 80, 40, and 20 meters. On the rear apron of the transmitter, uh, one will find terminals for the connection of an external modulator, as well as a remote, uh, remote control of the uh, B-plus line. Uh, so you can set up a little station control package to either automatically or remotely uh, turn the B-plus on and off. Uh, the circuit is a fairly conventional uh, master oscillator power amplifier arrangement. Uh, we have a, a 6AG7 uh, crystal oscillator. Uh, this runs uh, continuously whenever B plus is applied. And then we have a 6L6 uh, power amplifier, uh, which is keyed uh, through a cathode keying arrangement. Uh, the transformer is a nice, uh, uh, good quality transformer. It runs nice and cool. Uh, the rectifier is a Type 83 uh, mercury vapor rectifier, which uh, glows a nice, uh, nice uh, pleasant blue glow uh, when one is keying the transmitter, at least uh, under low light conditions anyway. Uh, power output uh, from the transmitter is uh, in the range of about 20 watts. Uh, the, uh, again, the, the thing that's probably most unique about the arrangement is the fact that the uh, 6AG7 crystal oscillator runs continuously whenever B plus is applied so it's not the type of transmitter one uh, would likely uh, use for uh, high-speed uh, CW traffic handling or uh, DX contesting uh, but uh, it uh, does provide a nice chirp free uh, clean signal uh, as originally obtained the transmitter had numerous problems uh, for example uh, six capacitors and uh, two resistors had to be replaced um, additionally, uh, a number of cold solder joints were present as originally constructed, and the uh, oscillator coil was open. Uh, uh, my guess is it was uh, uh, assembled by a, a rel relatively inexperienced new radio amateur, and I'm not sure if he ever succeeded in getting it to operate, but uh, certainly based on the quality of the soldering and the cons original construction techniques, I'd be kind of surprised if it was ever actually used. But after uh, a few hours on the bench and uh, a number of uh, repairs, uh, it tested fine and it uh, overall works uh, quite well. Uh, the uh, Micamold XTR1 is a, a nice, uh, fun little, uh, I guess you might call it a mini boat anchor uh, transmitter uh, that's ideal for pairing up with an early novice receiver of some type. Uh, it certainly attracts quite a bit of attention on the air. Uh, as uh, most radio amateurs have never heard of uh, a Michael Mold transmitter uh, or this particular model. Uh, I'm told uh, uh, from a little bit of research on the internet and the like that uh, there's maybe five or uh, six of these known to exist. I'm not sure how many are actually on the air. Uh, in order to, uh, to conclude uh, this brief demonstration and, and uh, I guess you might call it a tour of the XTR1. I've set up a, a nearby communications receiver so viewers can hear uh, what the CW signal sounds like on the air. Uh, please note uh, that uh, the faint sound of the oscillator will be heard running in the background uh, when uh, it's in key up condition. Uh, this is simply due to the close proximity between the transmitter and, and the receiver. And of course, again, noting the fact that the uh, 6AG7 crystal oscillator stage runs continuously with keying occurring in the power amplifier. Uh, of course, uh, this isn't heard on the air, uh, but you'll hear a, a faint uh, a running of the uh, crystal oscillator in the background as I key the transmitter. So uh, here we'll send a little bit of uh, Morris with it so you can hear what it sounds like.
And there you have it, the Mica Mold XTR1. I apologize for that little glitch uh, in the key. Uh, <laughs> there I had the uh, that little uh, circuit closer uh, a, a bit too close. But uh, anyway, that gives you an idea of the, uh, the tone and the waveform uh, associated with this little transmitter. It's uh, really a, a pretty nice little device and a fun transmitter to put on the air. Uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to enjoy the video. I hope you enjoyed it.